This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne coming to you from the Pacific Northwest. And in this movie, we're going to chat up the on object modify script step. So let's go ahead and bring up uh, the database here. And let me bring up my cheat sheet. Okay, so here what we're looking at is a example file that I created to show off some of the different nuances of the on object modify trigger. The, it's built upon the one that I did for the uh, on object enter. And so I wanted to show some again some of the nuances. If we go into layout mode, you can see that we do have triggers applied to both of these fields here. And we have multiple fields with some triggers there and of course some repeating fields. So if we take a look at this value list, and I think the on object modify script step is going to be applied mostly to value list, but there'll be interesting techniques in multiple situations, I'm sure. But if we go ahead and take a look at the trigger, let's bring that on over to the side of the screen. So on on object modify, I am firing a script called trigger for this particular field and in browse mode only. Now let's take a look at this trigger. That is an on object modify, but it's using a different script called trigger2. Let's take a look at our scripts. So trigger1 just says, what do you know, I've been triggered to pop up for some reason. And we don't want to save those changes in trigger two. Just says, what do you know? I've been triggered to pop up again. So this is using trigger one, and this is using trigger two. Uh, if we go into the multiple fields, and this is the exact same field, but if we take a look at this one, you can see that it's using trigger one and this one is using trigger 2 although they are the same field we'll get into that a little later and then here we're just using trigger 1 so let's go into browse mode and let's make a change here yeah let's move our thing over so i've been triggered to pop up for some reason so that trigger worked just fine move it again and it changed again. Now, this type field, let's go ahead and look into our manage database and go into fields. Artist type. Now, this field has got an auto enter option set up and it uh, auto enters via a calculated value and this comes into play because the on object modify trigger will not fire in auto enter situations. So I just did a very simple calculation here which is um, if the artist equals Casey Crowley put in the word artist if it's anything else say the word group. So what I want to illustrate here again is that when I make a change to this value list, it's going to also modify what happens with this particular field, which you would think would trigger it, but that, again, does not work in auto-enter situations. So just this trigger fires. If I were to click into the artist field and say, just hit the space bar, that triggered my second pop-up. You know, I've been triggered to pop-up again. But again, by making this choice, that field changed, but only the trigger assigned to the value list fired. So that's important to note. 
And again, okay, you can see these two buttons over here, insert supergroup and set supergroup. So what we've got there, let's go into layout mode. And we take a look at our button action. And our button action is using the insert text. So it's inserting text into the type field and it's inserting the word supergroup. Now there is an entire family of insert script steps and these are layout dependent which means the field has to be on the layout for them to work properly. If you try to insert something into a field that's not on the layout it just doesn't happen. Now that makes it triggerable with the on object modify script step. So if I click on this button it's going to modify this field and since the insert family of script steps is compatible with this trigger it will trigger the um, trigger to script step. I've been triggered to pop up again. Now if we go into layout mode and we take a look at the set stupor field it's using the set field script step and that's in the set field family. And the difference between inserts and sets mainly becomes the fact about that layout dependency. If the field is not on the layout, the set field will still work. It will set that field. But it will not trigger the on object modifier. So if we go back into browse, browse mode and we set it into stupor field, it just sets it and the trigger doesn't happen. So that's a very notable difference between these two. Now let's go ahead and go over to our multiple fields. And what I wanted to show you here is that we have, again, the same field twice, but they have different triggers. This uses trigger one, this is using trigger two. Now you would think, okay, when I modify this, since they're the exact same field, this is going to be modified as well. Do both triggers fire, both one and two? So let's go ahead and hit our delete key. There's trigger one, and there is no trigger two. So if I were to go ahead and change field two, field two, the second trigger rather, has fired. I've been triggered to pop up again, but the first one didn't. So it's the field that was modified on the layout gets triggered. So even though these are the exact same field and they both have on object modifies triggers applied to them, only the trigger with the field that you clicked into and made the change will go across. And then the repeating field again is pretty much the same thing if we go into layout mode. There is only one trigger applied, but it will fire when a change is made to any of the different repetitions. So if we go back into browse mode and we put a space into wash, that trigger will go up. We tab over into rinse and hit space, that trigger will come up. So, you know, the same trigger will fire again and again. So those are the main things that I wanted to show. The auto enter will not fire the on object modify trigger. The set field family of script steps or button actions will not modify the trigger. Inserts will modify the trigger. And then the behavior changes when you have multiple fields that are the same field but have different triggers applied to them. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.